so today I'm gonna be showing you how I make my smothered chicken. Now, disclaimer, even though I am a lifestyle slash natural hair YouTuber, one of my most popular videos is actually for um, smothered beef. That video has well over 50,000 hits, I think, at this point. So I figured I haven't cooked smothered chicken in a while. I might as well show you. Excuse the background if you hear someone. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some ingredients. And here are my seasonings. I have salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and some chicken bouillon. Everything will be listed below in the description box. As far as vegetables go, I have half of an onion chopped up, two carrots, two celery sticks. Here is my flour that I've added onion powder, garlic powder, um, basically the same <laughs> seasonings with the exception of salt, okay? And the reason for this is again because of the chicken bouillon. I did however, and here is my chicken, I did however add a little bit of salt to this but again the same seasonings. You want to layer your seasonings. These are um, chicken thighs and drums. With this. So right now I'm testing to see if my oil is ready with a few drops of flour and I'm placing the chicken in away from me so that it won't splatter in front of me, okay? So this is my chicken, again just dipping the chicken in the flour and now I'm just making sure that it's cooked evenly by turning it every so often. This is going to take about 20 minutes to fry up. And um, you don't want to overcrowd your pan when you're frying. So I had to cook two batches of this. And then I transferred it over to a larger cast iron skillet. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Look, look. People in the country love to hum when they cook. Here is my fried chicken all fried. Now what you want to do is reserve about two tablespoons of the flour that you use to uh, basically batter your chicken with because what we're going to do now is make a roux okay and the roux basically is flour oil mixture you want to cook your roux for several minutes you don't want to burn it all right and then once the roux is going I'm going to pour in about I'm eyeballing this one and a half cups maybe two cups y'all of um, chicken stock you don't have to use chicken stock you use water but make sure and here I am making the roux, again, whisking this up. Um, my skillet is on medium hot heat. I'm putting in my vegetables. And now I'm gonna slowly add the, the chicken stock and um, mix up the veggies and everything. And as it gets thicker, slowly add more chicken stock. I wanna also add that I ended up pouring in between one to one and well about one and a half cups of water you guys i'm an eyeball cook i'm a country cook so it's really hard for me to explain this because i cook by sight by smell anyway um so here are my vegetables here i'm making sure i'm stirring everything up i am going to add a few more seasonings to the gravy mixture onion powder garlic powder that you'll see here in a second do not add any more salt Okay, you definitely don't want to add any more salt because that chicken bouillon has salt in it unless you're using sodium-free chicken bouillon. Um, again, this is garlic powder, excuse that. Um, and then, of course, the flour had a little bit of salt, and I believe the chicken had a little bit of salt. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to add too much sodium. So, anyway, adding up a, a few more seasons, like I said, a little bit more pepper. You can also pour milk in this if you wanted to to make it creamier. Um, I ended up making a pan of cornbread to go on the side of this. So, yeah, this is my cornbread. This is just Jiffy Box cornbread. I'm not, not even going to front like I make this from scratch. So, at this point, my gravy has been simmering for about 10 minutes. Now, I do want to say that. Where I'm from, we don't use carrots or celery. We normally just do onions. That is it, okay? So now I'm going to place the chicken in, um, and this is going to simmer for another fifth, excuse me, another 20 minutes, actually. So, yeah, I'm originally from East Texas, and we don't add carrots or celery. We don't even do chicken bouillon. Look, as long as your food is well-seasoned, you don't have to do all that. If you don't have it, baby, you don't have to add it. But I did because I had it on hand, and it's, it just makes it really good, in my opinion. So... All right, now, um, again, this is a larger cast, cast iron skillet, so I can add all the chicken that I fried up. And you want to make sure that you also turn the chicken over every so often so that it doesn't stick to the pan and add more water as needed. So here is my finished chicken. Now, you do want to simmer this. Um, this is a little too high, quite frankly, so I am going to turn the eye down. Here is my pot of rice, and here is my plate. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Bye.